So, I have a comment from a subscriber named Itzy from Cisco Instructor Awards video. And he was asking, can I make a video for my study techniques, like how I got all of the certifications with super busy schedule? Yeah, like what I mentioned, I'm gonna create this kind of video anyway. But just to give you a little highlight, I'm a veteran IT instructor. And our job really is to study all of these technologies, get certified, and deliver high-quality training courses. Like, we're an expert. We are rated, you know. And if we got low ratings, we would not get paid. And if we're not paid, what will we eat? We're gonna starve to death. So, you can't really compare. But in this video, I will guide you on how to learn information technology faster and more effective. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm a software-defined IT instructor. What is my qualification doing this video? I have over 60 IT certifications, and it keeps growing. I have delivered over 60 official training courses in Cisco, F5, and Arista, won multiple Cisco Excellence Awards, and the highly recognized Cisco Distinguished Instructor Award. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. The first thing is certifications. This may not work with programmers slash developers because there's no really valuable certifications or certification path to take. If you go for certifications, you have a goal. And this is to learn and pass the certification exam. But the question is, how do you really prepare? There are many certifications out there, but this strategy would be more fitting for those technical certifications with lab exercises such as Cisco, penetration testing, F5, VMware, etc. And let's say you're already in the process and doing preparation. The best advice that I will give to you is spend more time with labs. Of course, you're gonna read books and the course materials or even watch training videos to understand the concepts, but those are not enough. It would be more effective if you do the hands-on, not just once, do those configuration over and over again. So the point is, the lab guide would be your best friend. Let's say you already finished the lab material. It's still not enough. Redo the lab, please. You still don't understand? Either you read the book again or redo the lab material again. In short, just do more and more labs. It's a practice that every tech professional should do. Oh, there is one thing I want to add. Optionally, you can build your own virtual lab environment from scratch. It's better because it's more challenging and you would have a better understanding of the infrastructure and architecture of the lab. And we're gonna talk about this in another video. Now, when you're already doing the labs, you have to take notes. Put something important and in the lab materials or in your workbook, also highlight some commands. Highlight important notes. Also, draw a topology, your own version, and summarize some of the concepts. Because other than the lab guide, other than the books or the course material, you should create your own material as well. It's like the summary of what you've learned. And here is a sample of my notes and my drawings. So here is a Hyperflex notes, okay? Cisco Hyperflex, and this one is storage networking. See that? And I have here a sample of ACI notes, okay? And this is another ACI notes. Another ACI notes here. And uh, last ACI notes. All right, what else? Oh, I have a 
complicated VXLAN topology. Layer 2, Layer 3, EVPN, VXLAN. And uh, I love drawing. That's why you will see lots of topologies. I also use the same notes when I do whiteboarding discussion in my training deliveries. Not too many people know this. Concentration music. There is a study that concentration music really helps individuals to focus. You would be more productive because it will keep you motivated as well. And you will be also smarter. There are different kinds of concentration music, but we, my band, created a concentration music for tech professionals like us. And by the way, this is real music composition. It's not just mix or program music. So whether you are a developer, hacker, cloud system, security, or network engineer, when you are doing this dirty work like coding or configuring devices, just play the music in the background. It will really, really help. So here is our first studio album, and the title is Man in the Middle. It's a free concentration music for IT professionals. And I will guarantee you, you will love it. Kindly check the link in the description below. Next, ditch some of your friends. Think about it. If you have too many friends, do you think you can focus if they always invite you to drink? or go out? How can you prepare for those certifications or technologies you want to master? Just keep the real friends. Those who are not gonna pull you down. How about girlfriend slash boyfriend or wife or husband? One is enough. Too many, it just adds distraction. If she or he isn't supportive, leave her or him. Right? Almost forgot. This is very important. No or less social media. Yes, it's true. It's the number one distraction. Well, bottom line is less entertainment to keep you more focused. So those are the kinds of study techniques I do. Now let's talk about something else. Less technical, but more inspirational. You know, as an IT professional, we should really love what we do especially if we specialize in advanced technologies because we can really get good money. And I'm not exaggerating. You can be rich. Either you'll get that high position or you can build your own tech company. So the inspiration, and I don't want to be a hypocrite, is the career path that you want to take. Okay, and the money, of course. What else? What is your goal? An IT manager? a solutions architect, a CTO, a freelance tech consultant, or a techpreneur. Your pick. Always remember, the goal is the career path that you want to take and the money. Well, in my case, I just want to deliver more and more courses so I can travel the world for free. So this is like a bonus motivation and inspiration. You have to watch hacking movies and TV series like Mr. Robot, Snowden, Black Hat, etc. Because if you feel you want to be part of the scene, the, the hacking scene, you will be inspired and of course you would be motivated to continue the learning process. Also, cyberpunk films with hacking scenes like The Matrix, Total Recall, Hackers, or cyberpunk animes like Akira, Goes in the shell, Cowboy Bebop, and so forth. So, Cyberpunk, for those who are not familiar, is a genre and it's kind of like a sci fi, but more realistic and it's more of foreseeing the future and deals with lots of technology. So, it's not just cyborgs and AI robots, there's a lot of computer programming and hacking as well. Okay, so some tech professionals. They just started their career after watching this cyberpunk or hacking movies and TV series. Some were inspired by playing video games. So that's how I do the learning and preparation. You know, some of my techniques. And I personally recommend you to do this. I find it really faster and more effective. And guys, also feel free to share your studying techniques as well. 
because our goal here is really to help each other help to be a more successful IT professionals. So comment and don't forget to hit the like button.